Welcome back to my channel and today I want to share with you my progress on my project pan items. I did start a project pan at the beginning of the year in January and I will put a um, notation right up here on um, the original video and then throughout this video I'll put some other like I cards is what they're called up there um, on the different videos that I've done this year on my progress. I have actually made very, very good progress. I have used up almost all of my original items that I had selected in January and then throughout the year I have continued to add items to the project pen. Um, since this is the end of October, I'm not going to add any more items into this project pan. So once I get through these other items, um, then I'll come back and do like a total year roundup of what all I finished that was included just in this project pan and the, um, the dollar amount of what I used. So um, we will get started. I'll start with the items that I had in the original project pan that um, or project use up whatever you want to call it and then I'll do the items that I added that I finished up anyway okay these um, next two these two items here was in my original project pan and they are these two eyeshadows from MAC now I do not anticipate finishing either one of them and it came to the point where about midway through I decided that if I would just hit pan on these two eyeshadows I would be happy. This one here which is called Fresh Daisy I have very made very very little progress in it at all. Uh, matter of fact the little um, the little daisy imprint that was here is pretty much, I mean, you can still see it. I mean, it's kind of worn away a little bit, but not a whole lot. So I just, I just haven't made a whole lot of progress with that. And it looks like that there, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but um, anyway. Now this next one is called Crystal Avalanche. And this is just in a special edition packaging from one of Max multi-million releases. Well, this one, and I hope, let's see if I can get it up here. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see it, are you? Because it's white. But anyway, I have actually hit pan on this. So I'm very pleased with that, and how I ended up using this was I just used it as a highlighter for the top of my cheeks, and that's how I was able to hit pan on that. And I may do that with this one just to see if I can hit pan on it. Anyway, another item that was in the original was this here from Benefit. It is the Gimme Brow. I am still working on this. Um, I just forget to use it and it is getting kind of goopy. So I'm thinking after, I'm gonna give it to the end of October or maybe even the first week of November and then I'm gonna call it quits on it. But I love the smell of that. I think it smells good. Anyway, but I'm still working on it. Another item that was in the original um, in January that I've been working on, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel, and this is just a little deluxe sample. I don't know, I just don't, I forget to use it, and I just don't really, I don't know. I just, I just forget to use it. Even though I have it sitting right there on my vanity, I still forget to use it. Anyway whatever. These two items were in the original. I keep saying that. Of course they are. That's what I said at the beginning of the video. Anyway, these are some um, eyeliners from Physicians Formula that you can purchase at Walmart, Walgreens, Target, different places like that. I have one in brown and one in black. And this is the um, Eye Booster. Two-in-one lash boosting eye eye liner with the serum. Now I don't know if it really helped with my eyelashes, but this was a really, really good eyeliner. And if you're looking for a alternative to the Kat Von D um, 
Trooper eyeliner, I would suggest trying one of these. Obviously, they lasted for a very long time. I mean, I used them once I started this project. I used them daily until they were gone. And actually, I I did go through two brown ones um, since January. I had already showed that brown one, that other brown one. Anyway, okay. This is my enemy. I hate this stuff. I'm trying to get through with it. Um, when I started the project, I was here. My last update that I did on it, I'm here. And now I am probably just to the top of the barcode there. Let's see if I had my marker and I'll just go ahead and mark it and that way you can kind of see. I've not made very much progress on this. I don't like it. I don't like to use it. I don't like it in my hair. And I seriously, seriously doubt that I'm going to finish it, but I'm going to try. Anyway, so there's where I'm at now. Um, yeah, I just, just used barely any since the last time I did an update. And I can't remember if this was in my original project pen or not, but anyway, I did finish this. It was added into it if it wasn't in the original, and it's the Studio 35 Beauty Alpha, Alpha, Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream, and this is the 8%, and it is the Walgreens House brand. I really, really recommend this cream for to use as a decollete cream to help with sun damage. I think it works wonderful. It's a big tub of it and it's four ounces. It doesn't take very much and this will last you a very long time and it's less than $10. So it's a great, great product, drugstore product that hardly anybody talks about and it's really good. Okay, now the next items, I think I added in. Anyway, I know this one I added in, and this was the perfume, the Selena Gomez um, perfume, Viva More. This smelled so good. I loved the smell of this, and if I come across it again at a reasonable price, I'm pretty sure I got it at um, Gordon's, um, I would definitely purchase it again. So anyway, that's gone. I did finish up a foundation that I had added into the project, and this is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation. This was in the original formula, and I finished it, and when I first started using it, I didn't really like it, but the more I used it, the more I became in love with it, but I'm afraid to buy the new formula because I don't know if I would like it. So anyway, and it's not like I need another foundation. I have a lot of foundations that I really, really need to work through. So that is gone. That is empty. Another item that I had added in was this eyeshadow, and this is from um, Merle Norman. This is the eyeshadow in Bare Necessity. Bare Necessity. No. Yes, Bare Necessity. That does not sound right. Anyway. <laughs> it's a matte eyeshadow. When I started it, it was full and I have hit pan. I don't think you're going to be able to see that because my lights are too bright. Anyway, I've hit pan on it. Matter of fact, more than just pan, I'm, I'm to the outer rim here. So probably within the next, I know by the end of the year I'll be done with that. And this I use as just an eyeshadow for all over the lid just to create a base. Necessity. There we go. Bare Necessity. Isn't that a song from some cartoon or something? Winnie the Pooh? I don't know. Anyway, I had added this in. This is the um, Color Tattoo in Pure Nude. I had added this in and I have used a lot. Gosh, I wish you could see. I wonder if I turned to any toast. And a good trick for these, um, if you have these little paint pots, there we go, you can sit right there, really good. Anyway, a really good trick for these, if you have these paint pots and you think, well, they've dried out, stir them up, get you an end of 
makeup brush and just stir it up really good and it will revive it and make it creamy again so and I just use this for a base all over the lid and then put my eyeshadow then I put this shadow on top of that and then whatever other eyeshadow I'm going to use then go in with that okay and then the last thing that I had was this right here and this is from Chanel this is the um, base Lemire uh, it's a makeup base when I showed it I was here and now it's down enough that I have to tilt it upside down like this to get it out so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's probably like right up here to at the Chanel mark but I have to keep it tipped upside down or it's hard to get out so that's pretty much where I'm at on it so that is it for this update. Um, like I said, I am just about to the very end of everything. And I foresee probably finishing up these three items for sure. Um, this little guy for sure. I know I'm not going to finish these, these little eyeshadows. I know I'm not. And this, I don't know. I, I'm almost I'm almost tempted to throw in the towel on this guy but I'll keep working on him even though I don't like it I don't like it at all <laughs> anyway all right so that is it for this update on my project pan I hope you enjoyed and like I said throughout this video you would have seen some um, eye cards popping up here and there that would have directed you to some of my previous project pans Anyway, thank you so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.